Want to start off as always by giving a look praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Akar, Kadash, double honors to the apostles of GMS and honors to you brothers doing the work of the Most High in truth and in sincerity. This is a toe the line, right? So, this is a phrase, um, which we call it in English, obviously. <laughs> um, so th this one I originally got, um, a, a couple of days ago in regards to Letitia, right? So, that is the a uh, young black woman in the Black Panther films, right? Uh, it's the one that was supposed to be T'Challa's, uh, that played the role of T'Challa's uh, uh, little sister. Okay, and she came out basically querying um, this serum that is about to be, well, that has been released in the UK and about to re be released in the rest of the world. And basically, she, you know, she was forced to apologise. She was, uh, you know, her co-stars, called a responsible, whatever, what have you. Um, and, you know, you had people up in arms about the statement that she made. However, um, uh, not however, but this is what you would refer to as towing the line, right? Um, and the definition there is to do what you are expected to do without causing trouble for anyone. Right? It says, if you want to get ahead, you'd better tow the line. And that is exactly um, what you see these people do. Right. Um, you know, they, they agree and they consent to this wickedness. Why? Because, you know, they don't want to cause trouble for anyone. But you know what? Hey, as men of the Lord, we can't toe the line because what what line is there in this kingdom? Nothing but wickedness. OK, um, let's uh, let's let's get that. Actually. What the scripture says about this particular kingdom. And why we cannot be, you know, one and consented with it. Is this marker to intent, arise ye and depart spiritually. For this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. This is a polluted land, right? And it, it is it is a true saying, if you are a, a sports personality and you want to get ahead, you'd better toe the line and be cool with homosexuality. If you're a sports personality and you want to get ahead, you better toe the line and uh, 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 you know be be pro abortion. If you want to, uh, if you're a sports personality and you want to get ahead, you better toe the line and not say that uh, uh, you know women uh, uh, which are subservient to men. Right? You better not say any of those things. Why? Because you will not get ahead. You will be blacklisted. Right? You must say what is the consensus that Esau says is the consensus because Esau is setting up a ministry of truth where what he says is true and nothing else. Right? But the thing is, we know that we have the real truth. Okay? So this is, uh, uh, you know, what, what Esau is going to be wanting from people. Right? And, and, and does want from people. As for us, however, Right, we just got to we just got to take the discrimination that's going to come um, on the chin because it is going to come. Okay, so this is uh, Matthew ten thirty two. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. Right, so that's not denying the gospel. Right, and that's why, for instance, when um polite came and uh, uh you know spoke to the apostles and the topic of rape came up. The apostles didn't be like, oh, duh, oh, duh, duh. you know, they didn't shy away, way, way from the, uh, you know, the understanding. He, they explained it uh, 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 exactly as the scriptures say. The scripture says, um, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, right, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, right? And what did, what does the scripture say? It says in John 1 that Yahweh shall is the word, right? And also says that he came in the volume of the book, right? So to believe on Yahweh shall. You know, is to believe in the doctrine of Yahweh, right? Is to believe in everything that He said, which includes everything in the law. Right now, we would, you know, say, look, in this kingdom, you can't, you can't be going around doing that. And in fact, if you're doing that, you're stupid. Because what does the scriptures also say? Scriptures also say, all things are lawful to me, but not all things are expedient. Okay, so not all things are expedient. Just because you know the laws, for instance, the law says you can have as many women as you want, but in these times, is that expedient? No. Why? Because a women need a lot of resources, whether that's emotional resource or uh, time. You know, that's that's the number one resource, right? You know, because in that time, you, we've still got to do our videos. We've got to study, right? We've got to do and you know uh, uh, fulfill our role in this uh, in this thing of ours. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with having many women, but that's just not that expedient at this particular point in time 
right? Um, so going back to the point, right? In terms of like when Pilate came to the apostles, apostles broke it down to him straight, right? They didn't shy away from the gospel. They didn't try to hide it. Like like what these Christians would do. Oh, no, no, that was back then. That was back then. Forget about that. No, we uh, the tribe of Benjamin was spared because of that particular act. Right? When you read Judges uh, from 19 through to the end, it says, um, yes, yeah, so I'll read that again. Matthew 10, 32. Whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Okay, so are we supposed to be towing the line? Hell no, right? Because if we told the line, right, we'd, we'd, we'd be denying Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. If we told the line, right, uh, uh, you know, because where we used to teach out in Oxford, uh, Oxford Circus, that was part of the um, route that they would take, the flotilla would take when they were doing that pride event. Right through central London, right? They would literally just be to the to the left of us, right? The road to the left of us. Okay, and then you'd have a whole load of them abusers of themselves of mankind walking uh, 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 past us, right? We didn't change up the doctrine to appease them. We didn't, let's go back to this definition here. We didn't um uh, uh, do what we were expected to do without, uh, you know, causing trouble for anyone. Just our very presence there. Cause trouble for 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 people, right? Our very presence. Just in fact, even even if it was any other day, just us being out there it causes a, a a trouble for people. Why? Because the scriptures say this. Um, in Isaiah, Isaiah, what's the one I'm thinking of? I call evil good and good evil. I can grab that after as well. As John three nineteen, it says, and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, right? And this is the thing: we're we're speaking a good work, but for these people, their deeds are evil. So when we just our, our presence being that they can feel that energy, when right? they might overhear something that we say, and they, they get cut. And do you know what the scriptures say about the scriptures, <laughs> All right? Uh, it says Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So these scriptures cut deep, right? It says, uh, than a two-edged sword. Why? Because it, these scriptures will change your life. And you won't even have any bru physical bruise on these, these scriptures will change your life. Right? If you think you you know your so called you know white man walking around you thinking that your your people are God's blessing to the earth, and then you find out that you the devil, look, you gon' you gon' feel a type of way. Okay? You gonna be messed up in the spirit. And then we tell you you're going into captivity after that, you gonna feel messed up in the spirit. Or you might have Jakes that walk hand in hand with Edomites or, or other heathens. And we tell them, look, man, you're heathen friends. If they if they be, you know, truly heathens, right, they're going into captivity, right? A certain Jake, he'd be messed up. That, that friendship group is messed up forever because they're looking at him like, be, be, you know, because in their mind, they're like, what, be slaves under a nigger. That's what they're thinking, right? And that's what these scriptures have the power to do. So back in John 3, it says, and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So just our presence, uh, you know, being around these people, you know, when we're out there teaching, we're starting off with the apostles on down, right? Uh, 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 it offends them, right? As you see, it causes them trouble, Right? If you want to get ahead in this world, you better not be, you know, a Jake calling yourself an Israelite man, right? Doing the things that an Israelite man in this world would be doing, right? Because, yeah, scriptures talk about being wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. But the scriptures also talk, um, uh, uh, also say this. This is uh, Jeremiah 2.33. It says, Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore thou hast also taught the wicked ones thy way. So 
why trim your waist to see club by trimming the waist was you know that might be uh shaving your beard okay you know you might be shaving your beard to fit in that you know that that's not being wise okay when it says being wise a serpent harmless is a double it just talks about maneuvering in a certain way Right, well, although when Clark Kent was Clark Kent, he was still Superman. He knew at any moment he'd have to turn and be Superman. He, when he'd see, when he'd watch news, right, he, he, you know, he'd be looking and he'd be like, Shh, you know, okay, cool, All right, this is what I need to do, and then he'll go in the back, take off the, you know, his Clark Kent clothes, and then put on the Superman clothes and go out, right, and just like that. When we're out in the world, we might, you know, we, we might not be telling everyone, hey, I'm an Israelite or whatever, what have you, may not walk around with the fringes, but just because you're in the world doesn't mean you eat pork, doesn't mean you commit adultery, no, that's not what it talks but that's what it means, when, you know, when uh, being wise as a serpent just means, uh, 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 you know, knowing when to do certain things and when not to do certain things, but it doesn't mean, you know, breaking the laws, okay, so Isaiah 5 and 21 to them that call evil good and good evil, now put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, Right, woe well unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sights. Right, and what we say to these people is actually, no, you are you are not wise. No, you are the basis of men. You all you are following after the ways of the basest of men. Right, so they don't like us, but it's okay because Yahweh likes us. Right, we're doing we're doing what He said to do. It says Second Ezra two forty seven. It says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High whom they have confessed. In the world, right then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, right? So that's you know starting off with the, with the apostles and down. That's what we're doing. We're confessing the name of Yah Bashim Yah to 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 everyone, right? We're saying, look, this is this is this is this is what it is. This world is wicked and it will be destroyed, right? And we are in those days of destruction, right? We're in the midst of destruction, or rather, you know, we're in basically where. We're in that 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 uh, uh, you know that that era, if you will, the era. I, I don't know how 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 I'd, the age of destruction. That's it. let me put it like that, right? Because we, we we can see this destruction coming, you know, very soon. We see we see how Esau's playing this particular situation that he's created, okay. But to stand stiffly, we think of something that's that's being stiff. It's unmovable, right? means it doesn't start towing the line it means it doesn't uh, uh you know you, you know we, we won't be uh you know consenting to the image of the beast because you know when you, when it speaks about the market the beast or speaks about the image of the beast if you have someone that is down for the image of the beast then more than likely they go and take the mark of the beast part of the image of the beast is that's that's going into all of these different things that esau upholds Right, so if you're into if you're down with homosexuality, then that is part of the image of the beast, right? If you're okay with that, then more than likely you are gonna take that mark of the beast, okay? Because if you think there's nothing wrong with a man ramming his rod up another man, then you ain't gonna think there's nothing wrong with uh uh uh, uh you know sticking a small little electronic thing in you, because you just gonna be like, well, you know. It is what it is. The Bible was written a long time ago. It's the kind of person that's okay with homosexuality. Is the kind of person that will make that statement. Okay, but hey, we ain't going told that line. Law will, you know, law gives us that strength. That's John fifteen nineteen. But rather, Lord will be of the elect. Because look, we understand that the law's going to protect his elect. The question we have is, are we of the elect? Okay. You know, um, this is John 15 and 18. It says, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, right? And when you don't tell the line, people hate you. Once again, Letitia Wright, right, from the Black Panther movies, they got on her, okay? It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, Therefore, the world hateth you. So we ain't of the world because the world, rest of the world is turned the line. Rest of the world is comfortably and happily wearing those masks. Rest of the world is comfortably and happily waiting, uh, uh, you know, to take, you know, to take these vaccines. You get some people that are like, no, I ain't going to take it. But when push comes to shove, they're going to take it. OK, it says, um, uh, yeah, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out. Of the world. So we have been chosen out of this world. We have been chosen to be different. Uh, from 
the rest of these people in this world. Okay. Last precept is Romans 10 and 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Lord Yahweh shy and shall believe in thine heart that the Most High hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Right, so once again, when we confess Yahweh shy, you can't confess Yahweh shy and be and say that you're of Yahweh shy and take the mark of the beast. You can't, which is the RFID microchip, right? You can't say that you're of Yahweh shy. And say you're confessing you how shy, but you're an adulterer, right? You're a homosexual, right? Or you have nothing wrong with those kinds of people, right? You can't say you of your how shy, right? So when it says you, you to be confessing you how shy, it's saying you you're standing up for everything that you how shy is about, right? Which is contrary to this world because this world is wicked, it is polluted, right? And it and it's destroyed our people, okay. It says, um, it says verse 10, so for with thine heart, with the heart men believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And for the scripture hath said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Right? So if you believe on, if you're not ashamed of Yahweh Shai, right, you won't be ashamed in these times to come. Because you will be protected. We will be protected. Right? So as always, Lord's order is edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.